In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the latest WooCommerce vulnerability and why you have to update right away. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass, WP Learning Lab. We will help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started. This is the blog post alerting everyone of this vulnerability. This was published on July 13th, 2021. And if you're on the WooCommerce mailing list, you would have received an email about it. If you're not on the mailing list, you might have also received an auto update, which they tried to roll out through WordPress. If you have auto updates enabled, your WooCommerce would have been auto updated. And basically the problem is there's a security vulnerability, which is never a good thing. And this one must have been pretty big because they released this blog post. Usually security patches just come out in new versions without much fanfare, but this was big enough for us to be alerted about it. And basically if you're running anything Below WordPress, sorry, below WooCommerce 5.5.1, you need to update. To check which version you're running, you have to log into your site. And then once you're logged in, go to plugins, installed plugins, scroll down to WooCommerce, and you will see the version you're running. This site right here is running 5.5.1, so it has a security patch. If yours is not running 5.5.1, you need to update to the latest version. I'd also recommend backing up your site before you do it, just in case something goes wrong with the update. It's best to have a backup that you can revert back to. I have a tutorial to help you with backups if you need help. It's linked to in the card up above in the description down below. And once you've updated to 5.5.1, you are in the clear. And this also applies to WooCommerce blocks. Let's see if I can find that statement here. So WooCommerce blocks looks like the version will also be 5.5.1 you have to update to. So just make sure if you're using WooCommerce blocks or WooCommerce or both, they're both at 5.5.1. And this actually brings me to my WP security checklist. Making sure your plugins and themes and WordPress core are regularly updated are actually part of the checklist. That's one of the steps in the checklist. It is super simple, but the number one way hackers get into WordPress sites is outdated plugins, themes, and core files. So if you make updates whenever they become available, backing up your site first, of course, you'll be reducing the likelihood that your site will be hacked. And there's lots more items in this checklist to help secure your site quickly and easily. If you want to get your copy of the checklist, there's a link down below in the description. There's also going to be a link at the end of this video that's going to pop up right over top of the video if you're using desktop. Either way, if you're using WooCommerce or your clients are, make sure you update to 5.5.1 as soon as you can. Next up, check out this playlist right here, which is all about WordPress security and helping you secure your WordPress site. So if you need help with that, check out that playlist. You can also check out my WP security checklist right here. It'll walk you through the basics of securing your site. So make sure you get that. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass. Till next time, keep crushing it and I'll see you in the next video.